programs regularly scheduled at this time will not be seen in order that we might bring you the following special program on KTTV Channel 11 Metro Media Television in Los Angeles. It's time for Dodger Dugout, news and notes of all the Dodger doings. Brought to you in part by Fuller Paint and your local Fuller Paint dealer. Fuller Paint, who since 1849 has painted the West best. Hi, I'm Tom Kelly, and this may be an unusual spot to start a Dodger dugout show, but I think we'll all agree this has been kind of an unusual start for a baseball season. Being the uh, number one pitcher to start the opening of the season, I've always thought is a fine honor, and I think it goes to a man who deserves it. Had 17 victories last year, an ERA of under three, and I think is looking forward to facing the Reds today. That'd be Don Sutton. How about it, Don? I am uh, really excited to start, Tom. It feels like it's quite a shot in the arm for me, and hopefully it'll be uh, kind of a keynote to set the, uh, the whole year by being chosen to start opening day, and I appreciate Walt giving me the honor. You're kind of sartorially elegant, uh, brand new haircut, huh? Yeah, I had to go get one. I had uh, a few hairs hanging out from under the cap. <laughs> Somebody mistook me for the lead zump drummer for Led Zeppelin, so I figured it's about time to get one. I've heard you say, though, that you checked with manager Alston about the length of the air, and he said, if that's our only problem this year, we'll win by 20 games. At least 20 games, he said. But uh, I think, you, for me, it was, it's a matter of comfort. I just didn't feel comfortable with it under the cap. I hadn't worn a cap for two weeks, so I'd forgotten what one felt like. Don, starting the season today is a little bit different than starting the season, oh, maybe two weeks ago would have been. Uh, what about the conditioning? Well, I think the big question, Tom, is going to be endurance for, for a pitcher. I think you can work on keeping your stuff, and you can work fairly. Your dugout in just a moment after we pause for this. Dr. Freud might have had something to say about fuller paint, about the way it pours and flows. Your inner and outer walls are very personal things. They surround you and protect you, and covered with color, they can warm you up or cool you off or excite you. And with over a thousand colors, there's a fuller color that's just the right feeling for you. Just over the falls, there's a land steeped in history, Canada, where you'll find the living museum of Upper Canada Village, the historic buildings of Quebec City, romantic castles, peaceful valleys. Start your journey in Toronto or in Montreal, home of the famous man in his world. Travel back through time with Air Canada. Our new low family fares make it easier to bring the children. Air Canada to Canada. Let's go there together. The International Lodestar truck is built to last and haul big loads. Just like the International Pickup Truck. It's smooth riding and easy handling with options like other pickups. But deep down inside, it's a truck. You can even order the same big 392 V8 Lodestar engine. So when you're thinking about a pickup truck built to last and haul big loads like a camper insert, think. Everything's going smoothly. Then the car quits, but the payments don't. The dentist bill nearly does you in. The washer won't, and the dryer doesn't. When you can't get ahead of the bills, apply for a bill payer loan from Household Finance. It may pay everything, and your monthly payment to household will be smaller than all you're paying now. Let HFC help you keep everything running smoothly. Now, Tom Kelly aboard the Dodger plane KO the second, and the Dodgers on their way to Cincinnati. I will agree with you, a bit of an unusual place for a Dodger dugout show. But as we mentioned a few moments ago, it's been an unusual start to the season. Danny Ozark has been handling the Dodgers in Los Angeles. Walt Alston unavoidably called back to Cincinnati. Dan Riverfront Stadium in three runs, seven hits, two errors for the Dodgers. One run, three hits, and two errors for the Reds. Uh, once again, final score, Dodgers three, Reds one. Now, this is Vin Scully speaking for Jerry Doggett. Stay tuned for the post-game show coming right up. Today's game was brought to you by your nearby Toyota dealer and is Toyota Mark II for people who want the good sense of an economy car without giving up luxury and comfort. By Olympia Beer, that great light beer from Tumwater, Washington. It's the water and a lot more.
by your Union 76 dealers. Drive in where you see the big orange ball. The spirit of 76 lives at Union Oil. And by Farmer John, your nearby local packer who supplies your market with the only strictly fresh Eastern corn-fed pork and pork products sold in Southern California. First week of working out here before we went to spring training. Luckily, you had been in the league so that you knew a lot of the fellas. Right, I caught a lot of pitches uh, behind most of them. Are you a talking catcher? Have you talked to some of the Dodger hitters before you actually joined them as a teammate? No, Vinny, I really don't believe in talking to the, to the opposing team while I'm catching. Quiet, Chris Canazero. <laughs> Make a note of that, Jeff. That's right. Chris, another question I think to bring the fans of the day. You were on two expansion clubs, weren't you? Right. Sure was uh, New York Mets and uh, San Diego Padres. Uh, in fact, I think that you have another little distinction that uh, your boy is the first baby born to a member of the Mets team. Right, uh, Chris Jr. was born in February of 62 and uh, he was the first Mets baby born. Mm -hmm. Tommy, it's just the opposite for you. Chris played in the league. There. I, uh, I didn't have spring training. I went out and I, I guess we threw for a week, both Don Drysdale and I. The season started. I didn't start opening day. I started the second day. <laughs> How did you do? Well, next year I was a broadcast. <laughs> Sandy, the cheers you hear in the background now. The New York Mets, of course, are being introduced. Now let's talk injury. Uh, it is a very cold, overcast day today. They have not been in competition for two weeks. What about the little things that in a pennant race could become the big things? The muscle pulls, for example. Well, I think that's a big problem. Uh, I think a hitter who has not run hard probably I think a lot of the players will run to try and keep in shape they haven't run that hard uh, in a little slow ground ball between uh, short and third or between first and second it smells a little bit like a base hit there might be a tendency to run a little harder and possibly a hamstring muscle another problem is going to be today the outfield the Mets have new grass in the outfield it's very muddy very soft the pirate outfielder Willis Stargell is just coming off a knee operation. He uh, he could hurt himself rather badly. The other pirate coming off a knee operation, Gene Alley, isn't in the lineup. I think because of the weather. Uh, looking down to the field now, the New York Mets have been introduced. So have the Pirates. And uh, in a moment, we're going to have some special ceremonies. But right now, baseball's game of the week will continue from Shea Stadium as the Pirates prepare to meet the New York Mets. <laughs> 